Hi everybody, I'm Master Kelly. Welcome to the Minions Martial Art Lesson. In this lesson today, we're gonna practice some fun ninja moves. And before we get started, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on weekly videos, okay? Let's get started. Chari yet? Awesome, we're gonna start with a warm-up. We're gonna count to five in Korean. Repeat after me. I'm gonna say Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good job. Awesome. Rotating arms. Ready? Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good job. Going the other way now. Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good. Awesome. Right? Reaching for your toes just like this. I'm gonna say Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good. Nice. Now one more stretch. Feet apart like this. Arms crossed. Head down to the middle. Ready? Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good job, you guys. Awesome. All right. Shake your hands. Shake out your legs. Awesome. All right. Chari yet? Kinye. All right, you guys. Let's get started with the lesson today. Chari yet? Awesome. All right. When I say fighting stance, right foot back, both ends up. Fighting stance. Awesome. Good. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to practice this combination. We're going to go double jab to our right and then double jab to our left. Okay. Let's do that together. Ready? And double jab. Good. And double jab. Good. Good job. Double jab. Nice. Good work. Double jab. Good. Good. Again. Double jab. Good. Two more times. Double jab. Good. Good. One more. Double jab. Awesome. Good job. Now this time we're going to go double jab cross and then double jab cross. Now look at my feet. Make sure you always have one foot front, one foot back and make sure you're not doing this. Okay. One foot front, one foot back. And every time you move, make sure your feet are balanced, okay? We don't want to cross our feet. We want to make sure they're balanced, okay? So let's do that together. Ready? And double jab. Cross. Good. And double jab. Cross. Awesome. You look twice as good. You twist that back foot when you throw the right hand, okay? And double jab. Cross. Good. Double jab. Cross. Good. Two more. Double jab. Cross. Again. Double jab. Cross. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Have five. All right, you guys ready to play a game? Awesome. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Some of the minions, they're going to throw bananas at us. Okay, now they love bananas, but they're going to start throwing them at us with their new machine that they invented. So here's what's going to happen. When they throw the banana, we're going to practice moving this way. And if they throw it this way, we're going to practice moving the other way. Okay, let's do that together. Hands up, fighting stance. All right, get ready and move. Good, nice. And we're gonna go back this way. Move. Good, awesome. Good job. Again, move. Good, good. And go. Good, good job. Go. Good, good. Go. Good. Two more times. Go. Good. One more. Go. Awesome. Good job. Now, this time we're gonna practice up chin and hujin. I'm gonna say up chin. Good. I'm gonna say hujin. Okay, you might have learned this before in other lessons, but you're just going to practice. You're going to have your hands up like this, okay? And you can go ahead and turn like this way. So see, we're all facing this way. Good. Awesome. So when I say upchin, we're going to go this direction. When I say hujin, we're going to go back. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. This time, when we go upchin, we're going to throw a jab cross. And then when we go hujin, we're going to throw a jab cross. Okay, let's do that together. Let's do that five times. Ready? And upchin. Good. Hujin. Good. Upchin. Hujin. Good. Two more. Upchin. And Hujin. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Have five. Awesome. Awesome. Before we conclude the lesson, I want you guys to stick around because we're going to talk about something really cool and really important. So make sure you stick with the end of the video. Can yet? Can yet? Awesome. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Why do we believe in God? Have you ever wondered where this belief comes from? What reasons do we have to believe in a supreme being who loves us and watches over us? The reason why this is important is because one day you may be asked to defend your faith. You may be asked by a friend, a coworker, or even a family member. One of the most sad things today is that some people don't believe in God at all, or even worse, have not been taught about God. To answer this question today, we're going to use philosophy to give five ways to prove the existence of God by St. Thomas Aquinas. Argument number one, the argument for motion. What does this mean? For instance, let's say there's a puddle outside. This puddle over time will change based on the weather. Maybe it's in the sun all day and eventually the puddle turns into vapors. Maybe it's cold and it freezes. In nature, everything is in motion. 
Me talking to you right now is an act of motion. Where did motion come from? Well, if you keep asking this question, you're eventually going to get to a point in time where there was no motion. Just like a ball rolling down a hill, the universe must have started with something starting from the beginning, and this something couldn't have been moved himself. Argument number two, the argument from efficient cause. What does this mean? Well, who are your parents? Who are your parents' parents? Who are their parents? When you keep asking this question, you eventually will get to our first parents. This is an example of efficient cause. This means that nothing happens without an effect. At some point, there would have to have been our first parents who were created from nothing. Number three, the argument for necessary being. Look at your fingers, your toes, and think using your brain. Why is yours so unique than that of an animal? Why is our air good for living and other planets in our galaxy not breathable. This is either because of chance or design. Chance would say that everything that came into being happened randomly, but design would argue that we have a purpose for existence. If you looked at all that there is in nature, they all exist for particular reasons. Trees give us air, plants and animals for food, and water to survive. Why are we given all of these things? Argument number four. Argument for gradation. What this means is that if you look at some rocks, what do they have? They basically have a form and shape, but that's it. When you look at a tree, it also has form and shape, but also has life. It can provide oxygen. When you look at animals, they do have form and shape, but can also move and interact. When you look at humans, we can move and interact and think, and we occupy most of Earth. From this argument, this tells us that there must be a being better than us. Something that is beyond our physical nature, and that is likely perfectly good and powerful. Number five, lastly, the argument from design. At the end of the day, things don't just exist for no reason. When you look at the sky, the animals and nature, and even the smallest cells in your body, they're all made for a purpose, an intelligent design. It's more reasonable to believe that an artist who paints used each color carefully and painted a wonderful picture rather than simply just throw paint on the wall randomly and create the Sistine Chapel. Awesome job, you guys. All right, let's finish up the class today with the cool down. So I want everyone to go ahead, go down on one knee like this. We're gonna stretch out our hip, okay? So I'm gonna take your hand on your hip like this. I want you guys to go ahead and push yourself forward. Okay, now we're gonna count to 10 in Korean for pizza. Keep a nice nod after me. I'm gonna say, hana, doer, set, net, haset, yaset, irbo, either. A hope, you're awesome. All right, now this time we're gonna take one foot, we're gonna pick up our knee just like this, and then we're gonna put our hands on the ground to keep ourselves stable, stretching out our quad muscle right here. Then we'll say, hana, doer, set, net, haset, yaset, ilgo, yidur, a hope, you're awesome job, you guys. All right, now this time we're gonna stretch out this leg, Okay, I'm stretching out our hamstring, reaching for your toes. Dub them together, everyone say, Hana, do it, set, net, toss it, yas it, ilgo, gider, oho, gider, good job, you guys, awesome. Let's turn to the other side this time. Ready, now we're gonna stretch out our hip on this side. Good, now make sure don't forget to breathe, okay? Ready? Everyone say, Hana, do it, set, net, Toss it, yas it, ilgo, yidur, aho, yidur, good, nice. Now we're gonna take this foot, we're gonna stretch it out just like this. Good, awesome. All right, let's together say hana, dur, set, net, toss it, yas it, ilgo, yidur, aho, yidur, awesome. All right, now keeping this leg straight, toes pointing up, stretching out our hamstring, ready? Good, I'm well, leaning down, reaching for your toes. I'm gonna say, Hana, do it, set, net, toss it, yas it, dilgo, yinder, a hole, yeah, and up. Good job, you guys, awesome. All right, now this time we're gonna go down to our stomach just like this, and we're gonna stretch out, just stretch your upper body just like this, okay? I'm gonna we'll say, Hana, do it, set, net, toss it, Yasit, 
Irgo, Ider, Oho, Pierre, good job, you guys, awesome. All right, now this time, here's what we're going to do, okay? We're gonna be on our knees like this, we're gonna stretch it on our wrists. I want you guys to take your hands just like this, turn them upside down, place them on the mat gently on the ground, and then very slowly lean back. Don't go too quick, but really slowly lean back. Okay, and let's say, Hana, Dur, Set, Net, Tasset, Yasset, Irgo, Ider, Oho, Yer, awesome. Now we're gonna take our fingers, we're gonna go this way now, fingers down. Good, now leaning back slowly. I'm gonna say, Hana, Dur, Set, Net, Asset, Yasset, Irgo, Ider, Oho, you're awesome. All right, shake your hands, shake it out just like this. I'm gonna take one hand, put it on the side of your head like this. We're gonna stretch out the side of our neck here. Repeat nice lot after, be really gentle. Hold, I'm gonna say, Hana, Dur, Set, Net, Asset, Yasin, Irgo, you there? Oh, yeah, good job on your side now. Stretching out your neck. Gonna say, Hana, do it, set, net, asset, yasin, ego, you there? Oh, yeah, good, awesome. Now, this time, hands in the back for that here. We're stretching our neck down. Let's say, Hana, do it, set, net. Asif, Yasif, Igo, Ider, Aho, Yeah, awesome. Good job. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders a little bit. Very good job, you guys. Awesome. All right, now we got a couple more stretches, some standing ones. Don't take your feet together just like this. I want you guys just to hang. Just hang down like this. No counting. Hold this position. Five more seconds. And slowly come up. Awesome. Great job, you guys. Ready yet? In the end. Hi, everybody. My name is Master Taylor Kelly. I'm the creator of Dojo Go. And today, I'd like to introduce to you Dojo Go Comics a complete series of martial arts inspired comic books and a future animated series for children. Our stories will focus on life lessons derived from martial arts that will teach the kids the values of hard work discipline, overcoming obstacles, and being a force of good in this world through acts of virtue. The first issue of the Dojo Go comic universe, laying the groundwork for all future projects, will be called Dojo Go, the Book of Perseverance, Chapter 1. This story is about the origins of Dojo, where he comes from, and why the legendary Monkey King has chosen him to be next in line to get the Cosmic Belt, a mysterious belt that changes color based on the strength of the user's integrity, courtesy, self-control, and indomitable spirit. Now, Dojo is by no means the chosen one. In fact, someone else may argue it's not his birthright to get the belt. However, Dojo, someone who lacks talent, must learn and struggle in order to become the hero the world needs him to be. Dojo will learn from a variety of teachers and masters not only the skills to defend himself and others, but will also learn to grow in virtue and unlock the true potential of the cosmic belt by unlocking all five tenets of Taekwondo. To ensure your kids will be following an entertaining but also morally acceptable story, we follow a three simple code of ethics that ensure your kids are, will be reading acceptable material. Number one, no political agendas. So many shows and so many books these days have been pushing out political agendas and wokeness over giving kids a good entertaining story that not only will teach them the morality of good values, but also inspire them to become the best version of themselves. None of our stories will have any political agendas in it. There's not gonna be any wokeness, so don't worry, that's not gonna be in our stories. Number two, the ends won't justify the means. Unlike what society may be showing to kids, none of our stories will adhere to the concept of consequentialism. This is the belief that the morality of an action is based solely on its consequences. This is no different than someone robbing a rich person and giving it to a poor person. The action is still wrong. So none of our stories will adhere to this concept. And number three, morality would be presented with Judeo-Christian principles. All of our stories will take place in a world where God exists. Not pagan or mythological gods, but the God of Abraham. Many stories today either try to exclude God completely, or try to replace him with mythological gods or Eastern religions, or even worse, the demonic. But not our stories. Characters will acknowledge the existence of him, and the comic universe will be presented in a way where Christian Judeo principles are the foundation for society. Along the way, there will be some characters that have a hard time coming to terms with the supernatural. 
Our stories will present a realistic view of what it's like to be a person of faith in a secular world. The first series of comics will be a 10-part series covering the tenet of perseverance. Perseverance is one of the five tenets of Taekwondo, and one could argue that it stems from the cardinal virtue of fortitude. Fortitude is the moral virtue that ensures firmness in difficulty and constancy in the pursuit of something good. It strengthens the resolve to resist temptations and overcome obstacles in the moral life. The virtue of fortitude enables one to conquer fear, even the fear of death, to face trials and persecutions. This is a great lesson for kids to learn in a world today where fear is rampant in society. It is our hope that this series covering the tenet of perseverance will inspire kids to stand up for what's right and to not give up when things are difficult. As a supporter of our Kickstarter, you will not only get a signed exclusive cover of our comic book, but you'll also get a personal message from me as well as the author. Help us reach our goal to support a family-friendly, Christian morality-based, martial arts-inspired comic books for children.